Hello and welcome to Skyview, the world-class cloud-based cloud application and data management solution. This video will provide a tutorial and overview of our integration platform. Skyview provides a world-class iPaaS solution which is by far the most user-friendly, intuitive, and easy to set up in the market. The system was developed with the aim to allow our users to bring their cloud-based applications and data together for greater operational insight, efficiency, effectiveness, and management. Data integration operations in Skyview are defined as packages. Each package performs a specific task, so you can choose the most suitable kind for your scenario. You can either import or export data between different sources, including cloud applications, relational databases, or CSV files. You can use a synchronization package to sync the data in both directions, or try a replication package, which allows you to copy cloud data to a relational database or cloud data warehouse with automatic creation of necessary tables, and then it can also automatically maintain this copy up to date. Let's first show how to import. For our first example, let's set up the import for the following accounts from a CSV to Salesforce. As you can see in this case, there are 15 of them. To create a simple import package, first you need to select source and target types, and then select or create the corresponding connections. For Salesforce, Skyvia supports both username and OAuth connections. And in the latter case, your Salesforce login credentials are not stored on the Skyvia server. Then we add an import task to the package. Please note that you can add multiple tasks in one package if necessary. In the task editor, we need to provide either a CSV file or select a source table first. Let's select the CSV file with the accounts we need to import. After this, we need to select the target table. Then we need to map target columns to source columns. Let's proceed to mapping. Columns with the same names in source and target are mapped automatically. For a simple import operation, that's it, and you can save and run your import package immediately. Let's see the Salesforce accounts before the import. And run our package. Now let's see the changes in the account list. Here you can see the new imported accounts. Skyview displays the results of all package runs in the package run history. These are the results of our package execution, in which we can view how many rows were loaded to or from each table, and whether there were any failed rows. If there were any failures, you can click the number of failed rows to download a log file with the failed rows and corresponding per row error messages. Now let's see some more Skyview features for cloud to cloud import. Let's create a package that imports Salesforce contacts to MailChimp subscribers. Let's select source and target types and connections. Then let's add our import task and select the contact object. When importing data from cloud apps or databases, you can use source data filtering. You can create various filters with different filter conditions, apply them to the columns of the imported table and its parent tables if necessary, add multiple filters, and unite them into groups using different logical operators. As you know, MailChimp subscribers can't have an empty email field, unlike Salesforce contacts. Let's add a simple filter to avoid errors when importing contacts with an empty email. One thing I would like to draw your attention to are these state filters. If you select inserted or updated here, 
Each package run will import records that were inserted or updated in the source since the previous package run. For example, if you need to periodically import new Salesforce contacts to MailChimp, you can select the inserted filter. In our case, we want to import all contacts, and thus we keep all selected. Import in Skyview supports all kinds of DML operations. Insert, update, delete, and even upsert. Not just for Salesforce, but for any supported data source. The upsert operation updates an existing record in the data source if the record is found, or it will add a new record if a corresponding record is not found. Now let's configure mapping. Skyview supports various kinds of mapping. In addition to a simple column-to-column -column mapping, Skyview allows you to map target columns to constants. Use powerful expressions with logical, mathematical, and string functions, or set up target and source lookups. The first name and last names fields will simply map to the corresponding Salesforce fields. We'll use constant mapping for the email type and status columns in this example. Now we need to map the list ID field. This field is required, and this means that the package is invalid without mapping this field. Here we need to provide the ID of a MailChimp list, which we'll add subscribers to. With the lookup doing the mapping, we can simply get this ID from MailChimp by the list name, so we don't even need to know the internal MailChimp ID for this list. Let's configure the lookup mapping. Here we'll take IDs from MailChimp lists where the name is equal to the specified constant. Since we're going to import all of the contacts to the same list, we'll specify the list name as a constant. Any type of integration package can be scheduled for automatic execution. Skyview offers powerful scheduling functionalities which allow you to specify nearly any kind of a schedule. You can run your package automatically every month, every day, or on specified weekdays or weekends. If you need to run a package more often than once per day, you can schedule it to run up to once per minute. Please note though that this is not available in the free pricing plan. And pretty much we're done. The package, the importing of Salesforce contacts to MailChimp is ready. Let's see our list of contacts in Salesforce. And now let's make sure that the target MailChimp list is empty. Now let's run our package. And then refresh our MailChimp list. Moving on, let's take a look at synchronization. You can use this package to synchronize data in both directions. For example, if we want to create a synchronization package synchronizing Salesforce contacts with MailChimp subscribers, it will not only apply updates in Salesforce to MailChimp, but also vice versa. Updates made in MailChimp will be applied to Salesforce as well. As for import packages, you need to select source and target types and connections and add synchronization tasks. In the task editor, simply select the source and target objects and map their fields. Mapping is similar to import, but in case of synchronization packages, you need to configure mapping for both directions, first from source to target, and then from target to source. Let's map only the required fields. After this, you can schedule the package for automatic execution, 
as well as importing. As for data exporting, Scribia can export data from cloud applications and databases to CSV files. Let's show this briefly. Your files can be sent to Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, or FTPs automatically. When exporting data from an object, you can add fields from the related objects and apply Skyvia's powerful data filtering. We can create filter conditions and groups just like we did with import packages. Now let's take a look at data replication. A replication package allows you to create a copy of your cloud data to a database or cloud data warehouse and keep it up to date. This package can create the corresponding database objects automatically during the first execution. With Skyvia's incremental updates feature, you can query only the cloud data that's changed and perform only necessary changes to the database during subsequent executions. Creating a replication package is easy. We simply specify connections and select the objects to replicate. If you'd like, you can select fields to replicate and apply filters to your data. Just like the other functionalities we reviewed, you can schedule automatic executions to keep your data copy current without any user interaction. To simplify the setup, Skyvia also provides a gallery of predefined package templates for the most common tasks. You can simply add a package from the gallery Select your connections, and if necessary, edit pre-configured mappings in greater details. Then set up your scheduling. Tasks such as the automatic creation of MailChimp subscribers from a newly created Salesforce leads object, or the automatic creation of Salesforce contacts from new QuickBooks customers, as well as many other tasks can be automated in just a few clicks. Thank you for joining us for this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you should have further questions or require additional assistance, please feel free to reach us at the email address support at skyvia.com or through the contacts page on our website. Thank you again, and we look forward to bringing your cloud data and apps closer together. Skyvia, www.skyvia.com.